어, 여러분이 어딜 가거나 집에서 나가거나 어, 아니면 밖에서 다니거나 할때꼭 챙겨가는 것들 그런 것들이 분명히 있을 거예요. 그러니까 뭐 당연한 것들 말고요. I'm not only talking about your smartphone. I'm not talking about, but there must be something. 아 어, 그런 것들에 대해서 얘기를 할 때요. 자주 들리는 표현들, 저도 자주 쓰는 표현들 이몇 가지가 있는데요. I'm just gonna go over some of those with you. So the first thing is, I never leave home without it. 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 Uh, so when something is important enough for you to always be carrying around, uh, one of the most common things that I hear native speakers say, and one of the most common things that I would say is that, is that I never leave home without it. And of course, if you're talking about like AirPods or your headset, uh, well, not headset, but like headphones, it could be your, your sunglasses, uh, maybe earplugs, maybe you're really sensitive to sound. And in that case, you might always, you know, you know, carrying around earplugs with you all the time might be very important. So you can say, oh, I never leave home without them. I never leave home without it. I never leave home without it. And also them, you can say, I never leave home without them. Without them. I never leave home without them. Yeah, I never leave home without them. 아 그리고요 요 자리에 요 위치에 그 물건의 이름이 직접 들어가는 경우도 물론 있긴 한데 이 표현이 쓰이는 방식을 잘 이렇게 열심히 이렇게 들어보면은요 요대로 쓰이는 경우가 많고요 이미 어떤 물건에 대해서 얘기가 시작된 상황에서 뭐 이게 나, 난 이게 너무 좋고 뭐 이런 얘기를 하다가 이렇게 딱 요렇게 나오는 경우가 많아요 이 자리에 대명사가 나오면서요 For example, okay, so let's imagine that I consider this hat like a lucky hat It's something that gives me luck 저한테 행운을 가져다 주는 <웃음> 실제로는 그렇진 않지만 뭐 그런 얘기를 누구랑 하다가 Oh yeah, you know, this is my lucky cat I, Yeah, I, I carry it around all the time I never leave home without it 무슨 얘기인지 아시겠죠? Uh, does that make sense? Uh, 그래서 만약에 이걸 여러분이 연습을 하실 거면은요, 연습하실 때는요, 이 문장을 얘기를 하기 전에 일단 그 물건에 대한 소개를 아주 간략하게라도 한 줄이라도 하고 가, 하시는 게 좋아요. Uh, so, uh, 한번 볼까요? I love drawing using iPad. I never leave home without it. Okay, yeah. So you can say, you know, I have an iPad that I use for so many things. I use it to uh, do some drawing. I use it to, uh, I use it to work. I use it to study. So, you know, I never leave home without it. I always carry AirPods with me. I never leave uh, home without them. Very good, yeah. I got perfume finally, and I always care about my scent, so I never leave home without it. Very good, yeah. I have dry eyes, so I never leave home without eye drops. Okay, all right, that's great. Never leave the house without the bag my daughter bought me. The bag was given to my daughter. Okay, so 이거 같은 경우도 그 문장으로, instead of leading with that sentence, 그 문장으로 시작을 하기보다는 uh, 어, 그 백에 대한 소개를 먼저 하면서요. Okay, so I, I have a bag that my uh, daughter gave me on my birthday, and I just love this bag. It's so useful. It has so many different compartments. It's very comfortable and light. And I, I just love this bag. I never leave home without it. Uh, 이런 식으로 얘기를 하면 좋아요. I listen to music all the time, so I never leave home without earphones. Okay, yeah. All right, so the next one. Next one I'm, I want to show you today. Basically the same thing. I take it with me wherever I go. I take it with me wherever I go. Uh, I take it with me wherever I go. I take it with me wherever I go. 어딜 가든 가지고 꼭꼭 꼭, 아, 챙긴다. 뭐그 정도로 보면 되겠네요. I have a wallet I made myself. I take it with me wherever I go. Oh, okay. You actually made your own wallet. That's that's actually pretty awesome. I wish I would take my daughters with me wherever I go. I wish I could get you. I wish I could take my daughters with me wherever I go. I have rhinitis, so I take the um, hanky with. 이거 같은 경우도요. 저라면은요. 아까도 얘기했지만 먼저 그거를 먼저 언급하고 그냥 이대로 사용하는 거를 추천해요. So in this case, 이거 같은 경우는 I have rhinitis, so it's 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 important to for me to always uh, carry uh, a hanky, and so I I, I take it where uh, take it with me wherever I go. I have diabetes, so I have to take some candies with me wherever I go. Okay. Uh, 이거 같은 경우도 제가 추천하는 지금 이것도 좋아요. 괜찮은데 제가 추천하는 것은 I have diabetes, so I uh, you know I always uh, I never know when I have to suddenly have something sweet. 뭐 이렇게 얘기할 수 있겠죠. 뭐 언제 갑자기 단 거를 먹어야 될지 모른다. 그래서 so I I I always take some. 
그럴 때는 이제 some을 대명사로 써서 I always take some with me wherever I go. I always take some. 아 그리고 이 take 대신에 아, carry라고 하셔도 되고요, bring이라고 하셔도 되고요. It doesn't really matter. 지금 같은 경우는 그게 방향성이 별로 상관이 없기 때문에 take라고 해도 상관없고요, bring이라고 해도 되고요, carry도 상관없고요. 아, I take my pepper spray with me wherever I go. Okay. 아 그러니까 이거 같은 경우도 이렇게 생각하면 좋아요. 왜냐하면 여러분이 실제로 이런 말들을 쓰는 상황이 오면은요, it's probably going to be a conversation, right? Someone might ask, what's what's that? <웃음> what's that? Oh, this? It's a uh, pepper spray. <웃음> I um, take it with me uh, wherever I go. <웃음> 물론 지금은 이제 여러분이 대화 상대가 없으니까 하나의 완성된 문장을 만드는데 집중 이제 하시기 마련이겠지만 연습을 사실 이런 식으로 하는 게더 좋아요. Okay. So just imagine a kind of a short conversation. Hey, what's that? Oh, this it's uh, pepper spray. I take it with me wherever I go. This sounds a lot more natural. Uh, you carry floss with you wherever you go. Really? Hmm. Uh, with me가 is, 있는 게요. 이 with me가 어떤 역할을 하느냐? Bring은 가져오다예요. With me가 없으면은 그 뜻으로만 돼요. 그래서 어, 내가 어딜 가든 가져간다. 어딜 가든 가져온다가 돼버려요. 챙 챙겨간다, 챙겨온다, 뭐 챙기고 다닌다가 아니라. So with me가 있어야 돼요. Alright, next one. 다음 거요. Can't live without it. Can't live without it. Can't live without it. What can't you live without? 여러분 이런 거 있어요? 없이는 못 사는 거. I can't live without it. I can't live without morning coffee. Okay. I can't live without 반신 욕기 욕기. Can't live without my family. Hmm. Can't live without movies. Ah, decided to work in the film industry. Oh, okay. Can't live without my kids. No, <laughs> not husband. I have three cats. I can't live without tape cleaner. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Let's try another one. So what I want you to try, 물론 지금 이제 바빠서 못 쓰시는 분들도 많지만, I'm sure a lot of you are too busy to be typing in the chat. So those of you who who have the time and uh, the ability to do that right now, I would like you to explain something here. Okay, explain uh, before you actually say this. Explain how important something is to you. Okay. Try to explain how important something is to you, and then follow that up with this. I don't know what I would do without it. Okay, so in my case, I could say, for example, um, I'm constantly working on um, on a computer. I, I need a computer. It's absolutely essential uh, for my work. And so uh, I have a laptop um, that I use all the time. Uh, I, I do a lot of work on that laptop, and I, I honestly don't know what I would do without it. Yeah, I honestly don't know what I would do without it. You can't live without air fryer because I can't cook anything without it. I don't know what I would do without it. Okay, yeah, that's a good, that's a good one, sure. That must be one good air fryer that you have. Uh, no, 그렇게 하는 거 아니에요. 이거는요, 그냥 이대, 이대로 거의 수거처럼 이대로 쓰시는 게 가장 좋아요. 그래서 제가 추천하는 것은 먼저, first, Explain how important something is to you. 뭔가가 자신한테 얼마나 중요한지를 먼저 얘기를 한 다음에 이대로 그대로 쓰는 거예요. 이 it 자리에 그게 들어오는 것보다는 앞에서 한 것처럼 뭔가에 대해서 설명한 뒤에 I have two parrots. They always make me feel happy. When I imagine they're gone, I don't know what I would do without them. Okay, so in this case, this is a good one. This is a good one. Um, I think... 이 when 절 있죠? When 절은 얘기 안 해도 될것 같아요. I think it's better without it. So... If I were you, I would say something like, I have two parrots, they always make me so happy, I don't know what I would do without them. I don't know what I would do without them. I do so many things with my cell phone. Yeah, we all do, don't we? So you don't know what you would do without it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of people would agree with you. My son always makes me laugh, he's leaving home next semester, I don't know what I would do without him. Okay, 지금 이거 같은 경우는요, your son's absence is guaranteed. <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, because you said he's leaving home next semester. So his absence is actually already decided. It's guaranteed. So in this case, it's not hypothetical. 이거는 이제 가정하의 상황이 아니죠. It's not hypothetical. So, 그래서 맨 마지막 문장이 I don't know what I would do가 아니라 I don't know what I'm gonna do가 돼야 돼요. I don't know what I'm gonna do without him. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to get into the details so much about your son's absence. 
but I have to point that out, right? I, I really feel cold easily, so I always wear my long padding, okay? I don't know what I would do without it. Go go to high pit up sale. Just I would I don't know what I would do without it. You know, Samsung Pay is so useful. I, I don't I don't need to uh bring my wallet. 자, 지금 이거 있죠, 여러분. 여기서 bring my wallet이라고만 하면은 약간 부족해요. 어, 어떤 말이 섞이는 게 좋다고요? 그렇죠. with me. 아, uh, carry carry로 하든가. carry로 하든가 아니면은 take bringer 쓸 거면은 with me를 같이 써서. 그래야 그게 내가 내가 가는 곳이랑 같이 다닌다라는 의미가 돼서, 되는 거예요. 그래서 의역이 돼서 이제 챙길 필요가 없다가 되는 거예요. 챙길 필요가 없다. So you know, Samsung Pay is so useful. I don't need to bring my wallet with me. Don't need to take my wallet with me. Carry my wallet. 아니면 그냥 I don't need my wallet. 이라고 할 수도 있고. Anyway, so uh, I don't I don't know what I would do without it. Okay, that's good. I always study English on YouTube. I don't know what I would do without YouTube. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I always lost way when I drive. I get lost. Lost way down. I would get lost. I always get lost when I drive. So I really need uh, a GPS. Um, uh, you rely heavily on GPS. You rely heavily on GPS. So I don't know what I would do without it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My husband always takes good care of me and helps me a lot. A uh, lot of house chores helps me a lot with house chores. Helps me a lot with house chores, so I don't know what I would do without him. Very good. Uh, 반대로 carry는 with me. 아 아니요, carry with me도 많이 써요. 그러니까 with me는 약간 의미 자체 강조형으로 쓰이는 경우도 많아요. Have랑도 많이 써요. Have. 야너 현금 좀 있어? Hey, do you have some cash? 라고 했을 때, 아그 uh, 사람이 농담을 이럴 수도 있어. 어 현금 있지? 그래서 어야나 oh, yeah, 사천 원만 줘라고 했는데, 어. Oh, I don't have it with me. I have it in my bank. Well, 이렇게 약간 농담 삼아 그런 얘기가 나올 수가 있는데 그러한 만큼 have, have 너는 가지고 있는 건데 지금 당장 가지고 있는 것과 집에 가지고 있는 것도 어차피 둘다 have이긴 하잖아요. 근데 지금 내 나한테 있는 거 있죠. 그런 걸 이제 with me. Very 초딩. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the best I could think of. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. It's it's only 7:30 in the morning. My brain can only function so quickly at this time. 아, 내가 챙겨서 가지고 있는 뜻인가? Yes, 그런 상황에서 좀 전에 사용한 상황에서 아, 그러니까 만약에 야, 너 지금 현금 좀 가지고 있는 거 있느냐? 지금 소지 몸에 지금 그럴 때는 hey, do you have some cash uh, with you? Uh, with you what on you라고 하기도 하는구나. Do you have some cash on you? Do you have some cash with you right now? 아, 이렇게 강조형으로 많이 얘기를 해요. All right, so uh, 지금까지 했던 걸 잠깐 한번 다시 훑어볼게요. Uh, so there are things that you never leave home without. Uh, 이 굉장히 영어스러운 표현이지만 정말 많이 그래서 많이 써요. 많이 쓰고 한국 사람들은 아 이런 표현이 있구나. 듣, 많이 들었음에도 불구하고 잘안 쓰게 되는. 앞으로 한번 써보세요. 여러분한테 너무 중요해서 항상 가지고 다니는 거 있죠. Uh, 그런 것에 대해서 얘기할 때 이런 표현. 그리고 뭐 이런 것도 좋고요. Okay, I, I, I take it with me wherever I go. I carry it with me wherever I go. I bring it with me wherever I go. Uh, 이런 것도 쓰면 좋고요. <웃음> uh, what's that? Oh, this? It's pepper spray. Uh, I take it with me wherever I go. Uh, just in case. 뭐 이런 말을 같이 쓰는 것도 방법이고요. Uh, 어느 분은 I have very long hair, so I always need a hair grip, and I always carry one with me wherever I go. 이렇게 one. Uh, 이런 걸 무슨 대명사라고 하죠? 문법, 문법 저보다 훨씬 잘 아시는 분들. 그... 이런 대명사를 뭐라고 하죠? Uh, I think in English we call this a determiner. 부정 대명사요. Oh, 이런 것도 많이 쓰인다라는 거. Okay, so I, I always need a hair grip, and I always carry on with me wherever I go. 그렇죠. I need a hair grip. 그리고 hair grip이 또 하나만 있는 건 아닐 거 아니에요. 그렇죠. 여러 개가 있을 거 아니에요. 어쨌든 하나를 어, 어딜 가든 하나는 가지고 다닌다. Uh, okay. 그 다음에 I'm always thirsty, so I always carry a bottle of water with me wherever I go. Okay. I can't live without it. Um, 이거는 그냥 약간 거의 뭐 약간 감탄사 같은 느낌으로 쓰는 것도 괜찮은 것 같아요. Yeah. 뭔, 뭔가 뭔가가 얼마나 나한테 중요한지에 대해서 쭉 얘기를 하다. Yeah, I can't live without it. 이거랑 약간 비슷한 느낌으로 I don't know what I would do without it. Okay. Uh, 하나 남았나? 하나 남았네요. Okay. Last one. I make sure to have at least one or two lying around. 이건 무슨 말일까요? I, I make sure to have at least one or two lying around. I make sure to have at least one or two lying around. 직역 
의욕과 의욕을 어느 정도 적정 선에서 했을 때요 정도 요정이 얘기 딱요 얘기죠. 그죠? 한두 개는 꼭 근처에 둔다. 이것도 생각해 보면 좀 영어스러 많이 영어스러운 표현인 것 같아요. 약간 우, 우리 말로는 잘안 쓰는 이렇게 잘 얘기를 안 하는 것 같아요. So for example, in my case, I've started to really uh, pay attention to my health and most importantly, um, my throat. I realized that I needed to take better care of my throat. So I started. Uh, my my wife bought me these. Uh, I started taking these little uh, doses of <clears throat> what is this? Um, it's some kind of. Not really sure what it is. Some kind of. Anyway, so uh, these are supposed to be good for my throat, and so I I, I make sure to have at least uh, at least one or two lying around uh, everywhere in my uh, in my house. As you can see, I, I started taking these, and um, supposedly they're good for my health, uh, good for my throat. So I, I make sure to have at least one or two lying around. Ah, oh, wow! This is so good. Look at this translation. Wow, this is amazing. This is this is really good. Uh, uh, okay, 이렇게 얘기를 할게요. 안 되는 건 많이 없어요. Okay, 안 되는 건 많이 없고요. 중요한 거는 어, 어떻게 보통 많이 쓰이느냐. 그게 중요한 거예요. 그래서 여러분이 물론 이건 제, 제가 말 장난을 하려는 게 아니라 이게 우리가 말을 어떻게 하느냐에 따라서 우리의 생각도 약간 그걸 따라가는 경향이 있어요. 여러분 아시죠? 그렇죠? 우리가 어떤 말을 쓰느냐에 따라서 우리 몸과 마음도 거기에 약간 따라가는 게 있어요. 그래서 이거 말고 이렇게 해도 되는지를 여러분이 그거에 대한 의문점을 갖기보다는 어떻게 좀 생각을 바꿨으면 좋겠냐면 이것보다 이 말을 쓰기도 하느냐 뭘 하면 안 왜냐면 하면 안 되는 건잘 없어요. 오케이? Okay? So uh, the important thing is what is common. 오케이? Okay? Uh, what is common? That's, that's the important thing. And so in this case uh, I've never heard anybody say put instead of lie. So in this you would say lie. Okay? At least one or two를 그냥 some으로 써도 될까요? 자 이것도 마찬가지예요. 해도 되는 게 있고요. 보통 많이 쓰이는 방식이 있고요. At least one or two 대신에 some을 쓰기도 하느냐? Yes! Yes! That's pretty common as well. I make sure to have some lying around. 근데 at least one or two라고 함으로써 우리가 얻는 효과가 있어요. 없으면 안 된다라는 그 간절함이 조금 더 있어요. 그게 얼마나 중요한지가 조금 더 드러나요 여기서. 왜냐면 at least잖아요. 최소한. Uh, I make sure to have some lying around라고 하면은 좀 넉넉히 둔다라는 느낌이 좀 그냥 약간 더 비교적 상대적으로 있고요. At least one or two라고 하면은 아무리 없어도 한두 개는 꼭 있어야 된다라는 그런 느낌이 좀더 있죠. 그래서 조금 더 it it gives uh, it, it, it expresses that urgency, the 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 desperate need uh, to have at least one or two lying around. Okay, so I guess it, I guess you could say it really depends on the situation and it depends on what you're talking about. Okay, so this is just an example. It's just an example. It's not exactly what Sumibak was trying to say, I assume, but this is the kind of sentence that we can practice uh, off of that subject. Okay, so I have bad eyesight, so I often need my glasses. Uh, 내 안경이 필요할 때가 자주 있다. I have a few pairs. Uh, 몇 개가 있다. 안경이 몇 개가 있다. I always make sure to have a pair or two. Um, 지금은 이게 안경이 복수 형태고 uh, pair of glasses라고 이제 얘기를 하는데 그래서 그냥 one or two라고 할 수가 없어요. I, I always make sure to have one or two lying around. 물론 그렇게 얘기를 해도 될것 같긴 해요. 얘기 막상 해보니까 해도 될것 같긴 하고 외국 사람들도 그거 어색하게 느낄 것 같진 않지만 and just to be clear about the grammar, uh, I always make sure to have a pair or two lying around the house. I make sure to have at least one or two gums lying around. Okay, sticks of gum. One or two sticks of gum. But one or two말고 그냥 some. Some. I always make sure to have some lying around. 옆에 두는 게 물건이 아닌 반려견 같은 생물이라면 lying, 그쵸, lying을 안 쓰죠. I make sure to keep, uh, keep him or her close to me. 뭐 next to me. 예를 들어서 반려견이 좀 아파요. 아니면 좀 많이 늙었어요. 그래서 도움이 자주 필요해요. 그런 얘기를 먼저 한 뒤에. So my dog is really old. Uh, she always needs a lot of care. So I make sure to keep her close to me. Okay? 그런 식으로요. Next to me, close to me, beside me 좀 좋고요. Uh, I make sure to have at least one or two memo pads lying around. That's uh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I forget things so easily. Can't trust myself to uh, remember remember things. I've, I've made it a habit 
of writing down everything uh, on uh, little memo pads. Uh, so I make sure to have at least one or two uh, lying around. Okay, so this is another example of something that we might say. Uh, I forget things so easily. I can't trust myself to remember things. Okay, let's just... <laughs> so I forget things so easily. Uh, so I've made it a habit. So I've made it a habit of writing down everything on little memo pads. So I make sure to have at least one or two lying around. Actually, I, I know you're just joking, AA, but actually, dementia and having bad memory is different. I looked into that. There's a there's a big difference between having bad memory and actually having dementia. When I'm in, uh, in most cases, eye drops come in the form of bottles. In most cases, if you want to be clear, you can say uh, bottles of eye drops, or you can say doses. Uh, you know, one or two doses. Dose라는 건 이제 한번 투여량을 얘기를 하는 거죠. 뭐 그렇게 얘기를 하셔도 되고요. But it's okay. You can just say uh, one or two eye drops. 아, 네 맞아요. Lying around가 이제 네, 쉽게 이제 보이는 곳에 손이 닿는 곳에 주변에 둔다라는 그런 의미에서 쓰는 거예요. Lying around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 그 Jack, 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 Jack. Are you just making up expressions? Jack uh, That's a Jeonnam dialect word. Oh, Jack 있어요? Jack 이라는 게 it's a it's a it comes from the Jeonnam dialect. Oh, I I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. 